Assalamu alaikum, our case today will be resection of the retroperitoneal sarcoma in a block with right kidney and diaphragm de-differentiated liposarcoma. Our patient is a 42-year-old male patient smoker, diabetic hypertensive, past surgical history free, complaining of chronic cough and sense of abdominal fullness since two month duration. And showed a huge retroperitoneal mass about 15 by 20 centimeter. Um, the mass pushing the kidney anteriorly and compressing on the eye and also putting posterior inferior wall of the um, liver. Uh, on the coronal view, in the in the coronal view, we can see that there is no plane between the uh, inferior wall of the kidney and the uh, sarcoma itself, as you can um, see it here. Going to the sagittal view, we can see also there is no plane between the posterior inferior diaphragm and the sarcoma. And as you can see it here, the diaphragm in the orange plane, uh, the, the, the sarcoma abutting the posterior inferior diaphragmatic edge. An MRI was done and uh, showed heterogeneous mass with no invasion to the posterior wall of the abdomen. Biopsy was taken, showed the differentiated liposarcoma, and our MDC decision was to go for a new adjuvant radiotherapy to, fee, to be followed by surgery. And actually, th that was uh, 2016 before the uh, release of the STRAS trial, which I'm going to talk about at the end of this movie. The course was complicated by bone marrow suppression, and the bone marrow aspiration showed uh, a dysplastic changes probably due to uh, radiation therapy. The patient developed anemia, thrombocytopenia, hypoalbuminemia, and anasarca, which was delaying the surgery for about three months. Was done and showed the mass getting bigger in size, pushing the kidney more, and compressing on the IBC. And you can see the huge amount of anasarca and edema all over the abdomen. And here in the coronal view, you could barely appreciate the kidney and the IBC looks like a slit due to the compression of the mass. For sure, um, this uh, will increase the complexity of our surgery. DIMSA scan was done for the patient that showed uh, a good parenchyma radiotracer uptake for both kidneys, the left kidney 54% and the right kidney 46%. It's very important to do such tests on any surgery that you're going to expect removing one of the kidneys to make sure that the remaining kidney, which is the left one in our case, is contributing uh, on the renal function and the patient will not get a chronic kidney problem. This is the finding after resecting the mass, the right side of the abdomen. This is the inferior vena cava there, was extremely pushed by the tumor. This is the stump of the ureter here, clamped, and here uh, the gonadal vein preserved. The stump of the right renal vein, you can see it here and the tumor was attached to the diaphragm or part of the diaphragm resected and reconstructed. Here, to delineate it better for you, as you can see the structures. So basically the patient underwent resection of the retroperitoneal sarcoma and plug with right kidney and diaphragmatic resection and repair. This is the specimen post-op showing you the sarcoma in the block with the right kidney. It was around uh, 4 kilo and 300 uh, grams. The OR time was 260 minutes with 1 liter blood loss and 2 unit blood and 2 FFP was transfused to the patient. So the pathology came back as a de-differentiated liposarcoma with involvement of the diaphragm and uh, the tumor was intermediate grade with um, uh, YPT3NX.
this scan around 48 months showed no evidence of recurrence. So what's the lessons we learned from such case? Let's talk first about the histological subtypes of the retroperitoneal sarcoma. As we know, the liposarcoma contribute to uh, two-thirds of the retroperitoneal sarcoma with four subtypes, well differentiated, de-differentiated as in our case, and myxoid run cell and leomorphic. And the differentiation between the liposarcoma and other, co other retroperitoneal sarcoma is not easy, but we can see some sarcoma have um, uh, a pathological imprint in a form of immune histochemistry markers that can help us on diagnosing um, what kind of sarcoma we are dealing with. So the first lesson to learn is that the cornerstone on treating a retroperitoneal sarcoma is surgery and the new adjuvant chemo radiotherapy uh, lacking the liver one evidence about their role on management. The primary section uh, should be planned in expert hand requiring to perform a multivisceral dissection with, re with reconstruction while minimizing the microscopically positive margin. Uh, the role of a new adjuvant chemoradiotherapy nowadays restricted for uh, cases where we have chemosensitive subtypes like um, uh, myxoid round cell and leomyosarcoma or if we have a borderline resectable sarcoma that we think the new adjuvant treatment can hel help us on sterilizing the margin or um, uh, 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 making our section easier. The second lesson do we need to use a preoperative radiotherapy routinely in all cases of retroperitoneal sarcoma? The answer from the STRAS trial uh, was no. Um, if you look here, it's a randomized multicentric trial divided patient into preoperative radiotherapy followed by surgery and surgery alone. And the primary endpoint was a recurrence free survival, secondary endpoint was recurrence free survival, overall survival, acute toxicity, preoperative, and late complication and quality of life. The three-year recurrence-free survival was compatible between the two groups with insignificant uh, B-value, and the conclusion was TRAS failed to demonstrate benefit for preoperative radiotherapy uh, for retroperitoneal sarcoma, and in exploratory analysis, a preoperative radiotherapy may benefit some liposarcoma. The third lesson to learn is sarcoma is a very complex cancer and need to be treated an expert sarcoma center in a multidisciplinary um, way to delineate the best way to deal with uh, any kind of sarcoma. It is a rare cancer but need to be investigated in a detailed radiological assessment and expert pathological review uh, to differentiate between the different type and the different way to treat them. The all-over goal of resection is gross resection with in-block removal of the closely associated and involved viscera uh, of, and retroperitoneal vasculature, so mostly going to be complex surgery with multivisceral resection. The predominant pattern of failure for uh, retroperitoneal sarcoma is local recurrence, and as you can see here, the dedifferentiated liposarcoma had a high local rate of recurrence, about 60%, and fortunately, our case, he is now more than four years without evidence of recurrence. Finally, I hope you can find something to learn, and feel free to contact me for any question, feedback, or comments on my email, and thank you.